Introducing the ISL OptiFZP and its physical principle of operation. The freezing point in jet fuel must be measured precisely and accurately, especially in long transcontinental flights encountering lengthy periods of sub-freezing temperatures. These require extremely accurate freezing point measurements to determine and execute flight plans. OptiFZP provides a stable and reliable platform that's easy to use and software that provides real-time results and graphics that allow users to quantitatively and qualitatively evaluate the quality of their jet fuel. OptiFZP is extremely simple to operate. The plug-and-play concept precludes any lengthy training to operate the instrument, which is now common across all new PAC instruments. Simply set up the sample ID and test conditions, load 10 milliliters of jet fuel into the instrument, push the start button, and the instrument takes care of the rest. OptiFZP is based on a unique and patented detection system using powerful optics technology. There are two optical sensors, the main detector and the opacity detector. The secret to the sensitive detection of hydrocarbon crystals is the two polarization filters set at 90 degrees to each other. These opposing polarization filters allow the accurate freezing point measurement of neat jet fuels, contaminated products, or jet fuels containing hydro-treated and hydro-cracked jet fuel. The detection system is composed of a monochromatic laser, two detectors, polarization filters, temperature probe, and specimen test cell embedded in a precisely controlled thermal block. Because the polarization filter located on the laser source is 90 degrees out of phase with the polarization filter on the main detector, no light can penetrate the second filter and reach the main detector when the specimen test cell is empty or when there are no crystals in the jet fuel sample. Let's see how the detection system works and how the detection signals are displayed for neat jet fuel. As we zoom in on the thermal block, we superimpose the actual temperature and the resulting graph. The sample fills the specimen chamber and the laser turns on. In this example, the test starts at 5.0 degrees and continues cooling. Note that the light beam passes through and is polarized by the first polarization filter but is blocked by the polarization filter configured perpendicularly to the main light detector. As the sample approaches close to minus 38 degrees Celsius, fine crystals start to appear. Jet fuel hydrocarbon crystals are anisotropic crystals, which means the polarized light from the laser will be scattered in all directions and will allow light into the main detector, resulting in a signal which is recorded on the graph. As the crystals grow larger, the scattered light is strong enough to elicit a signal on the opacity detector. When the crystal formation becomes too thick to allow light to penetrate through the sample and the main detector signal stops, OptiFZP goes from cooling to heating at 3 degrees per minute, as required per the method. As the hydrocarbon crystals melt away, the light scattered by the remaining crystals allow light back through the second polarization filter, creating a detectable signal again. This occurs around minus 49 degrees in this example. As more crystals melt, the signal weakens until all the crystals disappear, and the signal for both detectors also disappears. The temperature at which the last crystal disappears is called the freezing point. In this example, the freezing point is minus 53.4 degrees Celsius. Qualitative information can also be gleaned from the graph. Fine crystals always form and grow to larger crystals. The main detector is sensitive to these fine crystals, and the initial fine crystal formation is denoted in the results as CD, for crystal detection. Larger crystals are detected by the secondary, or opacity detector, and are usually at a slightly colder temperature, and this is shown as CO, for crystal opacity. The last of the larger crystals that melts is shown as DO. The temperature at which the last fine crystal melts determines the freezing point. The temperature difference between DO and freezing point is usually small, Larger differences can be indicative of the presence of higher molecular weight waxes or other components in neat petroleum-based jet fuel. Easy to use, reliable, sensitive, accurate, quiet, dependable. Visit our website for the latest product updates or to contact one of our experts.